what is conservatism? How do we even define it? How do we know who a conservative is? Well, if you look at the Liberty Scorecard here at Conservative Review, you pretty, get a pretty good idea of who a conservative isn't. All right, you're going to see a lot of people who aren't conservatives. But there's a lot of folks out there who think, well, you know, maybe I can be for this liberal policy or this leftist idea or this cultural Marxism in the, in the moral code of the culture, and I can still be a conservative. We've got people who used to be culture warriors who now say there's no need to fight for culture. We've got people who used to want to purge rhinos out of the Republican Party who now want them to be the party's nominee for president. How can this be? Well, it's because we don't have a standard. We, we can a lot of times define what we're against. We can say, hey, why these Democrat policies won't work, these liberal ideas are bad. But how do we actually define what we're for? What does it mean to be a conservative? Does it mean I'm a, a nationalist? Does it mean I'm a patriot? Are those two words different? What does it mean to be a conservative? Well, here's what it means. If you're a conservative, it means you're trying to conserve something. The root word of conservative, conserve. And therefore, the question becomes, what are you trying to conserve? And why is it worthy of conserving? If you're a conservative, you're trying to conserve the things that have proven throughout history, values, virtues, ideals, traditions, that have proven throughout history that they are right and that they work. It is not conservative to pick up the other side's bad ideas and say, let's just do a little bit less. It is not conservative to say, well, I'm against that because it's icky. Icky isn't a standard, all right? New ideas that go against the values, virtues, ideals, and traditions that have proven to work throughout human history aren't worthy of fighting for, advocating, or, or trying to just do a lesser version of. If you're a conservative, you want to conserve things that are transcendent, that are eternal, that are absolute, and that have shown both in the past and when tried in this era, they're what's best for the human condition.